So the next stage after in a way having had the intake with your client and having learned about their situation, how it developed, it's really about learning how to understand the, the process of transformation which your client is going through. And this is not so easy because things tend to move. Um, they tend to move between like things which manifest themselves emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, so they can move in different levels, but they can also move closer or more to the outside. So the problems can be experienced within themselves, within the body, within their immediate social situation, with can manifest in their house, their decoration, the clothes they wear, everything. So it is a little bit tricky also to find out what um, in a way signals the person is trying to give to themselves because every disruption will cause um, ripples and these ripples tend to move from one area into another. So a problem which exists on one level will ultimately ripple out, ripples getting bigger and bigger, and will show itself in every aspect of a person's life. So if you catch a problem early, then often there will be very few ripples and the problem will be quite localized on that level and also easily resolved. Um, if you catch a problem like 20 years later, it will have spread out into all aspects of a person's life and even though you in a way remove the cause of it the after effects of it will in a way still be rippling out and rippling back and it can take a very long time even if the cause has been removed for the problem actually to disappear because all these other layers and uh, factors which have become a part of a person will in a way reflect that problem back and often recreate it. So, for instance, we can look at the person who, in a way, turns to drugs. There's a problem, they don't have enough coping skills, cannot deal with something, they use drugs, because of drugs they get into crime and they get into a bad social circle. So the person understands at a certain point their the essence of the problem their coping skills and they learn how to deal with problems in a more mature way without having to run away or to pump up their self-image. Um, they no longer feel threatened by that problem so the need for drugs has disappeared. But the body might still be addicted. There might have been formed a habit of working with drugs. They are now in a social circle where everybody is using drugs and there will be social pressure on them. And there will be constant exposure to the um, temptation of using drugs. So the problem has moved from a small internal problem of like not being able to deal with pressure into a big social problem, uh, possibly financial problem, legal problems, relationship problems, and God knows what else. So resolving the problem allows the other, all the other problems to be resolved as well. But yeah, it can take quite some time, it can take years. But also it's often hard to find out where the problem started. In this case the problem started internally, with the person having lack of coping skills. It can also start the other way around. The person's friends are using drugs, everybody's doing it, there's social pressure for them also to give it a try, they give it a try. Um, well, okay, it feels okay, they now feel more accepted by their friends, their friends are more relaxed around them, there's a sharing, there's a bonding, and slowly but surely also you have the same situation coming out of a completely different cause. So it is important not to just know the problem, not to know all the factors and facets of the problem, but also how things move naturally for the client and then try to roll things back once you have eliminated the source. 
So without eliminating the source, problems will just re-manifest themselves. But not knowing where the source lies, you will have to in a way deal with all the aspects of the problem at the same time. And usually closest to the source, the problems will start resurfacing first. This is why it can be very useful, especially in the beginning, to have sessions relatively close to each other, even two, three times a week, or at most once a week, so you can spot where the problem resurfaces first. And this will give you a good indication of yeah, where to focus your attention. This is only possible if we are looking at a situation which has only one cause sometimes. There are multiple causes which, of course, will require several things to be solved before the situation can resolve itself. So it is very hard to know when you're getting into a situation how complex will it be, how deep do we have to go, um, how far in back in time do we have to go, and what will be involved in the healing process. But in general you can say that the more on the superficial level the problem is, the quicker it will be to resolve. So if it is a mental problem that's relatively easy to resolve, within a few weeks you can expect resolution and that the person will be able to think differently about something. They will have to change their mindset, their associations, but this is relatively easily done. Emotional problems take months. Emotions run deep, they're also not under complete mental control. There's a lot of hormones involved, a lot of associations involved, and the whole in a way, chemistry of the body will need to change before the emotions can change. So it is quite normal that it takes two to three months, up to six months, almost a year, for some emotional problems to resolve themselves. This is the kind of trajectory you're looking at. If you're looking at really big issues like personality problems, well, then you have to be honest. You can't be sure that they are resolvable, that they can be changed. Changing personality is something which can happen, but which doesn't happen on demand. It can't really be forced. It is like trying to lift yourself out of the swamp by your own hair. Because you are your personality. And you can't just remove the ground from under your feet and expect to take a step forward at the same time. And these are tricky things. Some people manage. Some people don't. What you're looking at is three years at the minimum and often up to four or five years for such a process to be successful. If you're looking at the area, if you're dealing with yourself, that will already take some time and your environment will have to adjust to that. Uh, generally, environments are not very flexible, so you might lose friends, uh, relationships might change, even the relationship with your partner might change. Um, so you're looking at at least several weeks, uh, probably several months, for your own social environment to adjust or to support the change or what is going on with you as a client. And as a therapist, you also need to prepare your client for that and to guide this process and help them to guide um, yeah, their social environment to facilitate this process. If the client is trying to resolve something without involving their social environment, that tends to lead to a break with their social environment because they're no longer the same person they were before and um, usually the relationship is not really with that person's spirit, with that person's soul. It is with the manifestation of that person. And if the person changes their behavior, also the friendship will change, the relationship will change. The only relationships which go beyond that level, which are really deep, 
um, they can stand changes in personality, they can change, stand emotional changes. But not all relationships are on that level. And you have to prepare your clients that if certain relationships are not on that level, they will not continue. But ultimately it doesn't matter because if you change, you will also attract new people, new persons, who are responding to your new pattern. So it is a temporary dip you're going into socially, but ultimately you will find people who will be accepting of your new personality and supportive of your new personality. So it can be hard to go through a process of change, but ultimately the situation will restore itself and usually within a year. So these things can help you to look at the process and to guide the process. We'll now look at the factors a little bit more in depth in the following videos.